Hello everybody, Frankie Day for Frankie Day Models. Okay guys, I got for you for this Saturday. Video number uh, five for the Blue Jacket SS Portland of 1888. Okay guys, again, along with this video, I made some construction uh, video stills behind me. And uh, I'll be re you'll be reviewing those with me as we uh, make this video together. Okay, guys, along with the video is the, is the model itself next to me, all dry fitted together. I didn't glue nothing down. Everything is dry fitted. It's ready to take apart. I've been uh, looking at the hole completely all sanded down, using templates, using a rasp, and it's not finished yet because i got to put the sponsors on. That's the next thing I'm going to be doing right now. So the last couple of days, I've been 22 pretty much on this thing. And I got this thing pretty much together and, and, and give a good idea, a general idea to be familiar with the construction of the model itself. So it's always good guys that we, these are like plastic, they're like plastic models or card models, anything like that. They're sub assemblies, you gotta dry fit things this there, make sure everything fits good. I know this kit's gonna fit good because it's new and it's all precision made. The thing about it is I want to be familiarized with the kit so I know how to build this in my mind before I put these in action. So it's always good guys. Same thing with plastic. You gotta build it in your mind. You gotta mentally look at it and know what, know what to do and go on from there. And uh, the results are a, a beautiful looking finished model. Okay. Now it's the first time I ever built one of these jobs before. These, uh, this it leaves, it opens up a lot of doors, a model like this, and a lot of food for thought, too. And uh, for those of you that like LEDs, this thing here would be a beautiful candidate for LEDs. You got seven layers of decks in this thing. Seven layers. You got profile decks and main decks, saloon decks, hurricane decks. Seven layers. On the original kit of this, they gave you seven pieces of 12 inches by 40 inches of 1 8 plywood. And all seven of these decks got to be traced from the plans onto the wood and cut out with a friendly scroll saw or band saw, jig saw, if you got one handy. But cut them out very comfortably. This kit here is uh, makes it very easy for Frankie Day and makes it very easy for the for the uh, the customer in general who has this kit with the state of art of laser cutting. With laser cutting, it makes this kit go together very very good. It's virtually this thing is prefabbed, but it's not a kit to assemble. It's a kit that's got to be built. So just because they give you a little treat by giving you laser cut parts where the windows all cut out and everything else cut out. Which is a time saver. The time, all it is is a time saver. It just saves a lot of time and it does. It saves you almost two weeks. That's two weeks of cutting and dry fitting. And hope you cut once. Do you want to cut twice? Because you cut twice, you make big mistakes. And a model like this is too too expensive to to butcher up. So you got to make sure everything works perfectly off the plans. And take the model and work on the plans. So you know it's all there. Now at this stage of construction, the hull's completely finished. It's ready for the sponsors. That's the next thing I'm going to be doing. And that's going to be the next cutting video, which will be number six. Will be the construction of the sponsors and the finishing of the hull. Then I can go ahead and work on the decks and the superstructures and the paddle wheels. That's going to be the fun stuff. The decks and the superstructures go on pretty quick. Because not much to it, but there's a lot of preparation involved to make it look right. Okay. We're going to zoom in behind me and we'll review the uh, construction of the dry fitting of this. Then I'll explain what I'll be doing on it with the preparation of the sponsors. Okay guys, we're going in now for the... Uh... There you go. Okay. We're going to go to the other construction still here. In the beginning, this is your main deck. 
Paul's been sanded already. Perfectly sanded. I used templates on the on the on the uh, skeg where the stern stern post is at, all the way up to the stem of the bow, and I got a nice, beautiful, smooth one eighth inch filing there. Back here too, where I can run my keel. Next thing, well, we'll, we'll go to that after we uh, discuss the construction of this. Okay, this is the main deck, the sponson deck. This has been securely glued on, and I put nails on here. A lot of you guys say, Jesus, you put nails all the place, man. Will that be seen when, when the model's done? Nope. It will not be seen because it's covered up. You'll see what I mean as this model is being built. I'm trying to fit it together. Now, I'm, I've already applied the glue already. You got to make sure you mark center lines on here. You'll see them. Once the glue's been applied, all will be clamped down. This is your profile deck. Now, I got three decks here. See these center lines right here, right to the hull there? These are center lines. As long as you follow your center lines, this model is going to be true to put together. Because if you don't use center lines and you, and you just use your hands as a feeling gauge and put the same together, you're going to be off. And when one part gets off, it's going to influence the next part, and the next, the next, the next. And this whole model is going to be very, very difficult to build. It's going to look, it's going to, it'll, it'll look cockeyed and ask you. And you don't want to go there. For a $600 piece of timber right here, you want to make sure you get at least another $600 worth of time out of it. Okay, this profile deck has been glued on top of the main deck. I've got space, 5-8 spacers glued on top of here too as well. Using tight bond cement. Now, a lot of you guys say, what the hell does this profile deck jazz mean? Okay, guys, you got your side walls, your superstructure. It fits along the side here. You got to have something for it to butt against. Now, you got a duplicate piece, just like this, which is known as the upper profile. This is a lower profile. The upper profile will fit on top of these spacers. Then you'll have a nice, smooth, flush side walls. That's been laser cut. A very beautiful tree. Now, I'll let this dry. You got to have spacers. Here's a close-in view of what I'm talking about. Here we go. I cut these out with my Mighty Might. Again, following center lines. Very essential. This recess right here, this little step, and this little indentation right here, this is where your paddle, your back of your paddle box fits at. The bottom of your paddle box fits flush on top of this hull and it goes up about an eighth of an inch and it goes in about a, a quarter of an inch and it butts up flush up against here. And this is where the back of your paddle box will rest. I got two holes here to line these tongues up right here. This got to be straight with this here. This is where the A-frame fits that to the diamond shaped walking beam. That's where this fits at. They got the instructions on there, the construction of that, how to build it. I'm going to make mine just like the, like the, st the instructions, and it's going to be operable. You'll see the locker beam go up and down. I'll put a little engineering into it. Okay, I got a series of clamps here, so don't be bashful. Use clamps. I went down to Home Depot. I got a sack of these things for 2 or $3. They're, they're cheap, cheap plants, uh, cheap clamps, but they work very well. They still, they're very good. One thing bad about these clamps is these orange jobs. They'll pop off, so you got to make sure, like right over here, that one popped off. I found that and snapped it back on, but these are all been glued on there. Okay. Here's the paddle box I was talking about. See how it goes straight? It's, it's resting on top of the hull, and it goes up a, a, an eighth of an inch, and it goes across this way. This is perfect. This has been glued down. Now, this is stock. This, this is hard basswood, three quarters of an inch by five eighths. Stock has got to be cut with a mighty might or a table saw. These don't lose your spacer stock they give you. They give you a lot of wood. So I'm dry fitting this thing together, guys. Right there again, there's another dry fit right there. That's the same picture proposed by the back off the camera a little more. Okay. A little close here. I see how it goes across here. It's resting on the hull flush. It comes up. Now this little axle right here, this is where the bearing fits there where your, your paddles can actually extend. And here's your profile deck. here. Your profile deck fits inside here. You got another, one, another profile deck comes here. It comes back up top of the main deck here. And uh, this is 
another picture of it right here. Now see all those nails on there before? Like I told you fellas, it's not going to be seen. You can see how the shape of this thing is going. This is side, the sides will fill in right here. It'll come straight this way, it's where your paddle pits at. The pilot house pits the top there, you got more continuation on the hurricane deck that's over here. And all your boats fit across there. This is very a beautiful looking boat when it's finished. This is a close up view of it right there. There's, there it is right there, that's the stage it's at right now guys. So all this is going to come off. These spacers here are glued on to the main deck. They're glued on to profile deck up here too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp these on and um, clamp them on and uh, and glue them down real well when it comes to time. But right now I gotta move all this. All this gotta come off. Paddle box, everything. And I gotta turn this hull around upside down on top of my building board here. And I'm gonna build a sponsor right across the here. You got a profile of your sponsor. That's all I've got to bring and sand it in. Okay, we'll take back the camera yours truly. Finish the video. Here it is guys. Okay, I got a lot of work to do. I got to dismantle this bad boy and get the sponsons to get the frame in and the sponsons. Also, at the edge of the sponsons, you got a little filler block. So you got to fill that in, sand it, pre-cut it first. It's good to do it on the board if you're doing the model and just test it as you go along. And you don't want them to block the entryway of the paddles. Okay, this is going to be a fun, fun, fun build. And I'll be on this for a long while. While this video is uploading, I'm only dismantling this thing. To get prepared for the sponsors. Okay, guys. Uh, I got the Gilmore Racer, the Red Lion. I haven't done nothing that yet. I got the fuse. It's all ready to be covered right now, guys. It's all ready to be covered. And I got construction stills in that. And I'll probably show that to you. And uh, make a video of that. Keep up with you guys. And I'll probably finish that Red Lion probably in a couple days or so. But right now, I love to work on my model boats, and uh, I got a lot of those balsa airplanes out of me a little bit. Just going through a different phase of construction in my life, guys, and we're working on models. And uh, I like wood, wood, paper, plastic, whatever I get my mittens on. <clears throat> okay. The video number six will be, uh, it'll probably be by this Tuesday, because uh, I'll have a lot of time now to Tuesday to have this thing done. The sponsons all finished. And uh, so that video will cover the construction of the sponsons. And of course, along with the construction stills behind me, will be on that video too as well. And uh, once I get the sponsons all done, everything, it's going to be all primed. And uh, then I'll start working on the sidewalls, the decks, but the, the paddles. i got to work on the paddles because uh, the paddles get to be built before the hull rest of the models and it don't, it don't go in last it has to be mechanically sealed and then the parts fit around it so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of stuff so when you guys do with a model like this like I said earlier in the video you gotta mentally build it in your mind and if it makes sense how it goes together it'll, it'll work and uh, so this thing is all dry fitted together I know where all the parts go at now and it's really nice about it what they did Blue Jack did they, they, they marked all the names of the uh, stuff on the decks, like right here. You can see it in the bow over here, right in here. We get a little closer. It says Hurricane Deck House Profile upper they got another one just like that it fits on top of it okay guys that's that's it right there that's where she's at right now as you can tell 